And here's the video review for the 4-inch Thundercats Tigra figure. Um, it is Tigra wearing his full armor and not the uh, more retro-esque uh, royal outfit he wore in, in the premiere uh, when they were still in the, the Thundercats city. Um, and I hope we, I, I do hope we get one version of that royal outfit that looked you know had the red on the thing with the it was the lighter blue outfit uh, that was was different but evocative of, of his old classic outfit. Um, uh, but he's got the same posability as Lion-O, uh, same kind of shoulder pad over here on the left. Uh, obviously different accessories. He's got a belt, and the belt itself can be, if you don't like it, you can unpeg it and remove it. Um, it just, you come around, it's, it's got a little peg over here to hold it in place on his side of his waist, and then it snaps together in the front here. Um, and like I said in the Lion-O review, I think the quality on these guys is actually pretty cool. Maybe I got really lucky quality control-wise, but... Um, I'm really quite happy with these 4-inch figures. I don't know why people are proclaiming them as crap. Um, so he's got a you know, wrist swivel, elbow hinge, all the, all the same posability. Joints are nice nice and stiff. They're not too tight. They're not too loose. They hold poses very well. Um, I think my only real complaint with Tigra is the way they sculpted his hair. Um, they made his hair a little big. Um, so it looks like he's got a giant head. Um, they got the they got the style and shape of the hair right, but just in contrast to his face, um, and, and honestly, maybe even if they if they had tampoed his eyes on a little higher and wider, it wouldn't look so bad. But it makes his face look, it makes his head look gigantic, um, and it, it, like I said, it, it's, it's the accurate shape of his hair. And from certain angles, it doesn't look too bad. Like from here, it doesn't look too bad. But when you look at him from straight on, it looks like he's got this giant head, and I think I just feel like that should be a little closer down to his face, just, just a little smaller. It's it's not a horrible issue. Um, it's it's just a minor thing. I um, mean, he looks good from the back. Um, so that, that's all there is. Um, again, nice and poseable. Um, his, he does have his whip. Uh, it's just kind of, it's just blue rubber. Um, it's not it's not even rubbery plastic. It's just like rubber. Um, his whip, and he does also have in his holster here his pistol. Um, I, I like to pose him with his pistol. Um, the the whip is is nice, but it's. Like I said, it's, it's not bendy wire or anything. You can't really pose it. It's just rubber. So it's just going to kind of hang there. Um, and it's loose enough rubber that it, you can't really pose it. Um, but it's stiff enough rubber that it just it doesn't really it just doesn't really sit naturally when he's just holding it as a whip, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But, um, as you can say, if you pull the gun out of his holster, you can actually roll up the whip like you do. Uh, just like that. So get this behind. So you can kind of coil the whip, Indiana Jones style, or however you want to think of it. Uh, and you can actually uh, slide the whip up into the holster. And this is one of those times when it's useful to take his belt off because you can kind of get behind this and help get it up in there. But yeah, so you can, coil, you can coil, kind of coil the whip in the holster, put the belt back on. And, uh, and there he's got his whip on his belt. And that's a nice way to display him, uh, still keeping his whip, uh, but without actually having to display him holding it. Which, like I said, it's just it looks odd in his hand. Um, and that's really my only complaint about the figure. Um, I thought about just putting the, the whip to the side, but I wanted to have it just in case I felt like posing him with his whip or just reenacting it. You should have his weapons on him. Uh, so but, but so that, that works. You just have him hold the pistol and uh, store the whip there in his belt. So that's my solution to that. But yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm really digging the, uh, the four-inch Thundercats line. Um, I'm getting... Panthro, Panthro should be here tomorrow, and 6-inch Panthro should be here tomorrow. 6-inch uh, Lionel should be here Wednesday, and um, I'm hoping to get uh, hit a couple stores in the morning and uh, see if I can't pick up the at least, if not all of, at least a few more of the 4-inch figures as well as the Thunder Tank. But yeah, there he is, 4-inch uh, Thundercats Tigra.